Hey guys, this is Mr. Pasco again with another Networks lesson. This one's on walks, paths, trails, cycles and circuits. And this is what makes delivery of your online shopping by the couriers be so fast and efficient. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, if you're my, one of my classes, you, this will be for 5.4 questions 1 to 4. For other people, it's just to learn about our network. So I'm a slow talker, so remember, go to the YouTube play bar, click on that tools cog, play speed, click that arrow and put it on 1.5, 1.75 or 2. So this video isn't excessively long. So optimizing traveling uh, on a network, you can see uh, with traffic networks, uh, road planners, transport companies, and also mobile phone networks and the internet uh, need to know about this area of networks mathematics and they use it. And uh, transport and courier companies, of course, use it a lot because we don't want the courier driver going to this house in the morning on this street and then later on in the afternoon having to go down the same street to another house on the road, okay? That's very uh, inefficient. So they have our logistics programmers, the computer programmers, right, using networks, mathematics, believe it or not, uh, to make this uh, delivery driver's uh, route that they take for all the parcels they've got to do in their van uh, as efficient and quick as possible and to keep them out of traffic jams as well. Now, this lesson will be super confusing the first time you do it, when we first start talking about all these things, because there's five different things and they're all kind of the same, but they're very specific. And uh, although two things might look the same, they're not the same. So we've got walk, path, trail, cycle, and circuit. And these are the five things you have to learn in this lesson. And it'll be tricky when you're first learning them because they're so similar, some of them, that it's going to be very confusing as to what's going on. But I'm sure by the end of the lesson, you're going to get it. So a walk is the most informal thing. That's just where you can go anywhere you want in the network. You don't have to visit all of the vertexes and places. So here's a simple walk. I've just gone from one to three to five to six. And any journey you do in a network can always be classified as a walk, okay? Uh, a walk is the most fundamental basic thing. And you can go on a longer one there as shown in the path. Now, a trail, uh, if we go with no repeated edges, so we're not allowed to go along any of these connector lines more than once. We're only allowed to use a connector line once. And this is what the career driver wants to do. So they're not driving up and down the same road multiple times per day. They only want to do that road once and do all the deliveries. So we're starting at one and we're going to three, then we're going to six, then we're going to four, then we're going to two, then we're jumping up to eight, and we're going back to six. So we actually went to six twice. We went to six early in our travels here, turned the corner to go to four, and we ended up at six. So that's okay on a trail. You are allowed to visit um, the dots more than once, but you're not allowed to go along the edges more than once, okay? So that's that. And you don't have to go all the way around on a trail, all right? You can just go through part of the network and do your trail. And you don't have to finish at the same place you started on a trail either, okay? So a path, uh, it's kind of like a trail, but this is where we don't repeat vertices. We don't visit the same dot more than once. So here's an example of a path where we go from one to seven to five to six to four and down to two. And notice we've only visited each of these dots once. And that's what the career driver wants to do. Only go to each house once. Um, now cycle, the next two cycle and circuit, they're about uh, starting somewhere and finishing at the same place. So the courier driver, when they leave from the depot in the morning after they've loaded up their van, they're going to go off and do their deliveries and come back uh, to the depot again with the van, okay? So it doesn't have to go through the whole network. We can just do a cycle where we just visit number three, we visit number four, we visit number two, and we go back to one where we started, all right? And each little dot, we only visited it one time, okay? So that is a cycle. Um, it has to start and end at the same place, the same dot, the same vertex, and you're only allowed to go to each dot or vertex one time, okay? So that's the idea of a cycle. A circuit, you're doing a loop as well, starting at the same place and ending at the same place, but you are allowed to go to dots more than once, but you cannot go along the lines, the edge lines more than once. So here we're starting at one, we're going up to three, and then we're going to, across to four, then we're going up to six, then we're going back down to three again, so visiting three again a second time, we're going up to five, then we're going to seven, and then we're going down to finish at one. So this one, we've only been along each line once. We went one to three, three to four, six to four, six back to three along that line, the arrows are on top of the lines, by the way, three up to five, 
five to seven and seven back to one where we started. So we did visit dot three a couple of times. That's okay on a circuit, all right? It wouldn't be okay on a cycle. So this is not a cycle going from the start back to the end where we started again. This one's definitely a circuit, okay? But the thing about a circuit is you're only allowed to go along the connector lines once while you're doing the circuit. So there's two types of looping journeys where you start and finish at the same place. They're a cycle and they are a circuit, all right? So let's get into the questions. So when you get a question, here's an example one out of the book. The first thing to do is always have this little reference list here of definitions so we know what's what and we don't get mixed up. Now the question's first asking us to find a cycle. So on a cycle, we go down to our little list here. Uh, we cannot repeat vertices, so we can't go to the same dot more than once. And we have to cycle round. We have to go uh, start and finish at the same place. So usually in these questions, they choose to start and finish at A. Uh, okay, if they can do that in the question. So we'll start at A, and we'll go from A and visit B, then we'll go down and visit D, then we'll visit C, then we go back to A where we started. And we've only visited each of the dots once, so that is a cycle. We didn't do any repeat visits to dots. Now, it's not the simplest cycle, because you'll be looking at that saying, well, that seems complicated. Why didn't we just do it this way? And you can do it this way. You can go from A to B, and B to C, and C to D, and D back to A, all right? And that's a cycle where we only visited each of the dots once. So cycle is all about just visiting the dots once and getting back to where you started again. Remember, you do not have to visit every single uh, dot, but in this case, it was easy to go all the way around the outside and visit every dot. So that is a cycle. Now, the next part, they want us to do a circuit. Now, there's lots of different possible answers. Like, that's just two of them. There's probably other ones you can draw as well. Like, you can always do the backwards one as well, where you go A to C. Um, so, you, you reverse it. You go A to C to D. So, you can go backwards or forwards. So, there's always lots of answers for these questions. It's often not just one particular answer. So, this time, we've got the same shape, the same network, but we're doing a circuit. So, we go down to circuits on our list. Always have your list reviewed. Uh, this is the one where you cannot repeat the edges. You can visit the same dot twice, but you cannot go along the same line twice. So, with this one, we could start at A and do our A, B, D, C, um, back to A because we've only been along each line. We went along that line once, this line once, that line once, and the middle line once. And we never went along the B to C line, but that's okay. You don't have to go along every line. And we went from A and we got back to A at the end. So that is a circuit, all right? And we could also go around the outside and we've only gone this line once, this line once, that edge line connector once, and that edge line connector once. So those paths we had in the first part for a cycle, they also work for a circuit, okay? So those journeys are both cycles and circuits, okay? So you can have um, a journey being two things. It can be both a cycle and a circuit. These questions often don't have one answer, and they don't have one possible um, journey through the network to produce that answer either. OK, so, yeah, it's not like algebra where you just get the one X equals something answer and that's it. You can have multiple different answers. As long as you can just get one of the answers, you'll be OK. So here's question one from the exercise. We're looking at cycles first. So cycles where we is where we don't repeat vertices. So we don't visit dots more than once. And we have to start and finish at the same place. Now, usually we try and start at A and see if that works. If that doesn't work, we move on to B. So we'll move, start at A. And just remember, every vertex uh, is visited only once, and you don't have to go to all of them. So we do not have to do a A going around, getting all the way back to A again, cycle, doing all of the dots. You can just do some of the dots, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go from A to B, then we'll go from dot B down to dot E, we'll go from E across to C. Now, if you try and go to C to D, and then go up, we visited dot B for a second time, and that's not allowed. You're only allowed to go to the dots once. So all we can do really from there is shoot across uh, back to A here. And that way we've been to B once, E, C. We only went to these dots once. So we didn't use the whole network, but that's fine. We went round in a loop. We started at A and we ended back at A, visiting each dot only one time. So that is the definition of a cycle, and that's an okay answer for that. Uh, you can also go, of course, re backwards. You can reverse the cycle as well. ACDBA is uh, also okay. That's another answer. Uh, but it's impossible on this one to cycle, do a cycle uh, using every vertex. Uh, you can try that, but I don't think you'll be able to do it. All right, so again, there's multiple answers for this, but that was a cycle where we went around 
from A all the way back to A, and we only visited each dot once. Okay, now we're going to do the same shape, but we're doing a circuit this time. Now we could do A, B, E, C, A again. So we could just go A up to B to E to C to A, because that would be a circuit, because we've only uh, gone along each line once. We went along this line once, this line once, this line once, and the big line across there once to get back again. Uh, but we'll show you a different answer. We, there is another answer. Uh, we can also start at B, so you don't always have to start at A. We could start at B and try and do a circuit where we only go along the lines once, and we don't have to use go along every single line. And the circuit we do is we go from B to E, then we go to C, then we go along the line down to D, then we go up this line to B, okay? So that takes us from B all the way around back to B, and we've only been along each of these connector lines once to do that. So that is a circuit. So that's another possible answer as well, um, B, E, C, D, B. Okay, so you don't always have to start at A in a network journey. You can start at other places, uh, because if you think of towns on a map, not everyone starts driving out at the same one town in the morning. Um, there's multiple places where people can start their journeys from, okay? Uh, question two, okay, we've got a different shape network, but we're doing the same stuff again. We're trying to do um, a cycle and a circle. We're doing a path this time. So a path has uh, no repeated vertices, uh, but we don't have to start and finish at the same place on a path. So we're not allowed to go to dots more than once, uh, but we're not worried about going around in a whole loop to be doing a path. So several different paths are possible. Um, and the path you choose can be of any length that works. You can do a short path or you can do a long path. So a short little path would just be like going from A to E to B, okay? You've just visited E and B, two dots, uh, and you're finished. That's just your little path, that little L shape, back to front shape, A, E, B. So it can be any length you like. So let's go from A to C. And then we'll go from C to H, then we'll go from um, H up to D, and then that's it, because that's all we're going to do. We just wanted to get to D. So a path, we're not trying to go back all the way to A or anything. We're just going A, C to H to D. That was just what we decided. And there's, if you want to do a longer one, you can go A, C, you can go H up to F to G, um, and all this sort of stuff. So there's lots and lots of different answers for that. You're just going along visiting a few of the dots, as many as you like, and that's it, that's a path. So multiple answers for that one as well. Okay, now let's go on to the cycle. Remember the cycles where we can't visit the same dot more than once, but we're trying to start and finish at the same place, which is usually A. So we'll try going A to B, then we'll go from B to G. We can happily go from G to F, F to H, H to C, and then we'll just go back to A. Okay, so that's a cycle. We went round, just the outside of the network, and we visited each dot only one time. So that's a perfect answer of a cycle, so that's okay. Um, and that's around the outside. Now, if you want a longer cycle, you could try this one where you go A, E, B, G, F, H, D, C, A, okay? So you could go up here. Instead of going straight across to C, you could go H to D, then to C, all right, instead of going straight along the bottom there. So you could make a longer one, or any other journey that starts from A, ending up at A, and only using each vertice once. Or maybe you decide you want to start at G, and you want to go around somewhere in a loop and get back to G again. You could just go G, F, H, D, C, and back to G. That would be uh, a cycle as well. Okay, so you don't always have to start at A. There are so many different answers to this. As long as they're a cycle, as long as you get back to where you started and you only visit each dot one time, that's a cycle. Okay, and the last one is circuits. Circuits where we're not going to repeat going along any of the lines and we want to start and finish at the same place. So we're going to make our journey from A back to A, but we can only go along the edge lines once. So if we go A to C, then we shoot up to D, then we go to H, then we can go round to C. We're allowed to visit C again, because this is a circuit, not a cycle. Then we can go up that edge to G. Then we can go across to B. Then we can go to A. Or if you even wanted to make it longer, you could go from B down to E there, which is hiding, and then across to A. But that is a circuit. We've only been along each line once, even though we did happen to visit dot C twice. Uh, that's fine for a circuit. So that's our circuit there.
uh, vertex C gets visited twice. Now that would not be okay for a cycle, but that is fine for a circuit. And there's a couple of other answers there as well. And I'm sure there's more answers too. So as long as it's a circuit, uh, you're okay on that one for question two. Now question three has four parts. Here's three A. We're going A, G, H, I, O, N. Okay, so we're going from A to G, then to H, then to I, then to O to the N, and so on. So we'll trace it round later, but for now, uh, the first step, we're just going to look at uh, the vertex letters and see if it starts at A and ends at A. So it starts on A and it does end at A. So maybe it's a cycle or a circuit. So they're possible answers, cycle or circuit, because they start and finish at the same place. So we've got an A at the beginning and an A at the end. So we are starting and finishing at the same place. The next thing we do is uh, we check all these vertex letters out and we can see that here G um, G has been visited more than once. So we've been to that vertex G at the beginning and we also go to it at the end again. So that means it can't be a cycle because remember for a cycle, if we go back and so do a look at cycle down here in our notes, cannot repeat vertices. So we're not allowed to go to G. We can go to G there, but we're not ever allowed to go to G again if we're doing a cycle. So we know it's not a cycle. So maybe it's just a circuit. Uh, but if we check out that journey, A and G and G and A, uh, we're going to go from A to G when we get started, but right at the end we're going back along G A. We're going along that connector line twice, and that's a no-no for a circuit because a circuit says you cannot repeat edges, and that's what we're doing. We go along this edge at the start and this edge G A at the very end. So we're doing that edge twice. So it's not a cycle and it's not a circuit. So what is it? What are we going to call it? Um, a walk. Remember, any journey through a network can be a walk. So if you're stuck for an answer, walk is always one possibility. So the only thing this uh, can be is a walk on that answer. So that was a bit of a tricky one. When you looked at this, A and A, you'd be thinking, hey, we're starting at A and we're getting back to A. This is definitely a cycle or a circuit. And actually, I thought it was because what I did was I spotted the two G's and I said, oh, okay, then it's not a cycle because we've repeated visits onto G. Ah, must be, a, must be a circuit. That's the answer, circuit. And I actually looked up the answer in the back and circuit wasn't there. It said it was a walk. So then I actually traced all the way around and realized, ah, 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 we're going along that um, edge connector line twice. So it is not a circuit and that's why it has to be a walk. So that was a tricky one, um, 3A. 3B, uh, this is what we've got here. So remember... Uh, always get your list of uh, definitions. That's the first thing you need to get started on these questions. Don't leave home without it. And here we've got I and we've got O. So we check our beginning and end letters. And because it's not the same start or end, we're starting at I and ending at O. We're not getting back to the same place. There's no way it can be a cycle or a circuit. So we know out of our five things, the answer is definitely not cycle or circuit because cycle or circuits have to start and finish at the same place and for that to happen you have to have the same letter at the start and the same letter at the end so not cycle not circuit it, everything's always a walk so it could be a walk maybe it's a circuit maybe it's a, a trail or a path okay so they're the other two we need to check out everything's always a walk it's not cycle not circuit so trail and path are the ones we're going to check out so when we check out the vertex letters, uh, we see we've got HG, they're all different, okay? We're not visiting any vertex more than once. So that means, and you also check the end ones, like if there was an O in here and an O on the end, uh, that would not be a path because you would have visited O twice. So you also check the end ones, but if we check right along, there's no um, ones that are the same. So this can be a path. This might be a path, this question, all right? And if we trace out the actual um, path, well I should really say journey there, I'll fix that up in the thing because it's not a path, it's a journey. Uh, but anyway, if we trace out what this is saying, I-H-G-F-K-L-M, so let's do it, I-H-G-F-K-L-M-N-O, and we're stopping at O, that's the actual journey along there, and we're only going along each edge once, so that is a trail, it's a trail if you only do each edge once, and it's also a path because we're only going visiting each vertex once. So this one has multiple answers. This one is a path and it's a trail and it's also a walk because everything's always a walk. So 
that is the answer for that one and you might have to sort of think about that one for a while but let's get on to the next one because this video is getting really long uh okay first thing remember get your list of items there so you know what's what and check the beginning and end letters now this one we're starting at h and we're ending at h so this could be a cycle or a circuit because we're starting and finishing at the same place we go from h and we go along all these dots and then we end up at h again okay so let's have the vertex letters uh these vertex letters in the middle, there's no repeats there, and there's nothing that's an H in the middle that matches the end ones. So they're all different. Uh, so this could be a cycle, because the cycle needs all the vertexes different, so you haven't repeated any. So it's looking good to be a cycle, this one. And if we trace out the journey, as long as no edge line has traveled more than once, it's a circuit, because circuit says you cannot repeat edges. So let's uh, trace it out. Uh, and let's have you guys figure that out. Okay, now the book also says it's a trail or a path, but because we're going round and starting at H and finishing at H, that's not the best definition. It's going to be cycle or circuit. So we know it's a cycle. That's one of the answers. We know walk is an answer because walk's always an answer. Now, is it a circuit? You'll have to trace round. So you'll have to do, uh, if you go draw it in, H, I, J, E, D, and all the rest of it along here, and make sure that you're only going along each of those lines once, um, then it could be a circuit and a cycle. But if you hit one of these lines and go along it twice, then it's only a cycle, okay? So we'll let you guys figure that one out uh, because we've done quite a few now. And it's about time you started standing on your own two feet and doing some, and that's what we'll do, I think, with this one too. So remember, have your list of items, have your network picture, have what you're gonna do. F and G. So we're starting at F and finishing at G. So it's definitely not a cycle and not a circuit. So we can cross them off. It's going to be walk, trail, or path, or maybe it could be all three. Who knows? That is possible as well. But it, because we're not starting and finishing at the same letter, definitely not a cycle and not a circuit. So we can eliminate them straight away. Um, step two, check the vertex letters, including the start and finish ones, and make sure there's no vertex more than once because then it can be a path or it could be a cycle but step one shown us it's not a cycle in this case so we know it's not a cycle but it could be a path uh, we need to check the vertex letters now we've got a g here and an f so you need to go along the whole distance including the f and the g and check that there's no duplicated vertexes because if there is one duplicated well, then it's not a path. A path cannot be the answer because you're only allowed to visit each dot once. If you read path, no repeated vertices, okay? And you don't have to start and finish at the same place. So no repeated vertices. So you have to look along that whole list of letters and make sure there's none of them gets repeated twice, that they're all there. Each letter's there only once. And to trace out the journey to see if it is a trail, now, it's not a circuit because if we go back and check step one, we found out it wasn't a circuit because it doesn't start and finish at the same place. So it could be a trail. Trail is a possible answer. And you'll need to actually read through this and go from F to G and then up, then to H, then to I, then we're going J, E, D, uh, C, B. So you'll have to actually trace all that out and draw on there and see if it is a circuit. If we only go along each edge once, uh, it's only a circuit. And then remember, step four, every journey is always a walk. So walk's going to be one of your answers. So the answer to this could be just walk on its own. It could be walk path. It could be walk and also a trail. Or maybe it's all three. It's a path, a trail, and a walk. Okay, so that'll be the possibilities for the answers. And we're going to leave you to work that one out. Okay, so you guys figure that out from what we've been doing. And also this slide's a good slide to have in your summary notes because these are good steps to follow. Step one, always check the start and finish first uh, to see if you might be doing a cycle or a circle, if they're the same. Uh, then, if they're not the same, well then you've ruled out these two and you've only got the other three to worry about. Everything's always a walk, so you've actually only got the other two to worry about, path and trail, like we're doing here. So uh, remember, vertex letters, visit them only once and you've got a path. Go along lines only once for each line and you've got a circuit. You can have both a path and a circuit in a given journey. That is possible. All right, exercise 5.4, connector graphs. All right, so this is the last question, question four. Now, these are tricky because we're going backwards, okay? Uh, we've got a big network diagram there and they haven't given us a journey. We've got to figure out a journey that has at least 10 vertices and finishes at D. 
uh, a trail that goes from A to C and you have to go along exactly seven edges. And because that guy's a trail, you're not allowed to do any edge more than once. Okay, so you might have to look at these answers here from the back of the book and maybe you can reverse engineer and work backwards if you get stuck. Uh, we have got some solutions here. So that's a, one possible answer for 4B. Uh, that's one for 4C and that's one for 4D. Okay, that's a pretty tough um, question. Uh, and I'm not even really 100% sure about the answer I've got there for 4D. Uh, but anyway, have a go at those. They're kind of the hardest ones we're doing. So they are all the questions. Questions are wonderful. Done quite a few of them in the video. Uh, you just need to try and do all of them if you possibly can. And that's the end of the lesson. So um, good luck and we'll see you in the next lesson.